Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back. Um, you know, I woke up really, really early in the morning, and I was just super excited to 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 record a video. You know, I ever since I got this mic, like I <laughs> for for the whole entire day yesterday, I was like, I was just crazy excited. I just wanted to use it so badly. Um, so here I am. I'm I'm probably gonna be making at least two videos today. Um, this is just the first video. I, I decided to make this really really quick, and it's basically me six starring my my uh, my light Medusa, and also um, doing the last two Thor rebirths. So yeah, so I'll, I'll only have two more. Um, but what I'm planning to do is I'm going to do a variant rebirth. Actually, I'll save this one for last. Um, and one rebirth using like these two and I think like I think I was gonna use one of the light jacks right oh no I was I was gonna use this yes I was gonna use this um, so I'm gonna use the two light snowies because my I already have a I already have an evil three snowy um, and the other these two snowies don't really have square slots so they're not really worth building anyways um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna feed them away, and I'm gonna feed feed this this crab away. Um, I got it to evil two. It turns out that you actually can't use the evil one version of this crab to do these rebirths, but you can use the use the evil two version to do it. Oh, nice! I got another light one. Um, now I'm hoping I'm hoping to get a variant, but it's only fifteen percent, so it's not it's definitely not that high. Um, but it's going to be my last rebirth. It's not that important if I don't get a variant, but if I, if I do, um, then, then it, it would be really, really awesome. All right. I didn't get a variant. It's, it's unfortunate, but the, the rates were pretty low. Um, and I did get that 600 astrogen complete. So I should have 600 astrogens now. Oh, you can, you can repeat this over and over. All right, so it's a it's a lot of rebirths um, to actually do this. So yeah, I'm basically out of Thor's. Um, or actually, no, I have enough Thor's. I mean, but I'm out of four stars. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably feed all these Thor's into my dark one. Um, I'm going to keep one light one just for for the sake of um, you know collection purposes, because I feel like he's going to be a little bit harder to to get. Actually, I'm not I'm not too sure because. Cause uh, yeah, cause like he's not exactly that strong. I mean, he's pretty strong, but he's not like that strong. And I can't get him to Evo three anyways, so I'm not sure if I should even keep one. If I should even keep the leftover. If I feed it all into my dark one, I'll have exactly. I'll, I only need to use one gleam because I'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14. Yes, exactly 14. Um, so I'll I'll be able to just use one gleam, and then I can get um, get that Thor to 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 this Thor to Evil Three, and this is the one I'm going to be focusing on. Um, I've had some people talk about the the Wood Thor, how he has Courageous Strike and Blind, and how he's also an attack type monster. I think the the best Thor is kind of tied between the dark and the wood. In my opinion, it's dark because I, I, um, I mainly focus on dragons, and I feel like the dark one's going to be really, really good for dragons. Um, all right, let's just pop these eggs really fast, and uh, the wood one's really good for, for doing clan battles. Oh, nice! I'm so glad I didn't feed my Yukis. The, the reason why I decided to keep the Yukis and raise my, my um, Fire Yuki is because my Fire Yuki is one of my only 4 stars that, that are variants. Um, I don't have a lot of 4 star variants. I, I basically only have have 2. Um, this Yuki and the Succubus is, all, is really all I got. I just I just don't have that variant luck. Um, but I, you know, I'm, since this is probably the best Yuki, maybe I should keep it in the future for when I pull... I said when, not if. <laughs> when I pull a light one or something. 
Um, I think besides the light one, the fire one's probably probably the best. If I just look at her stats, I was gonna look at the Thor as well. If I remember correctly, the wood one is a is an attacker. No, he's balanced. But he has decent attack, like 2,600 for a 4. Nah, 4. That isn't an attacker. It's pretty good. Because, like, attackers usually have 3k-ish. But, like, you know, like, defensive monsters don't really have that much attack. So this is, like, not that bad. Um, and then he has the defense leader, creative strike, and blind. 100% blind for the, the boss. Not too interested in golems right now. So I, I think, um, for me... Uh, best Thor for me definitely is the is the Dark One. The Dark One's also really good for Titans, but I'm not really planning on using him for Titans. I'm planning to use him more for for Dragon Speed 10 for his 100% armor break. Um, and with him being dark, he has that extra crit damage, and he also has a uh, yeah. He also has like um, pretty good attack stats, you know. So that's definitely pretty good. He's quite squishy though. How how squishy is he compared to the Dark Atito? Wait, I need to I need to check again. Damn it, where where is he? Where is that Gatito? Cause if he's not as tank if he's not as tanky, like if he's if he's just he's slightly tankier. Um, because I was thinking if he's just as squishy as the Dark Atito, even if I gem one one slot HP or something like that, um, there's no guarantee that he would survive. So, yeah, I wasn't I wasn't too sure. Um, but I mean, the the good thing about using another Dark Monster is, um, I can basically gem him with one slot attack or one slot um, defense. And then he can survive against the Light Persephone's first skill. I'll do one test run of dragons to show you guys what I'm talking about, and then you guys you guys can kind of uh, kind of get get an idea of what I'm what I'm planning. I think before that I'm gonna I'm gonna actually six star my my Light Medusa, who's also gonna be in my dragons team. Now where is she? All right. Um, yeah, I don't. I don't really have gold to upgrade gems at the moment. After the six star, I'm going to be completely broke. Wait. There's a fusion event on, but I don't. I don't think it's really worth um, worth it to fuse fuse your your star stones because you. Most of the time, I I find that sometimes you're actually short on mid ones, um, rather than high ones. Like sometimes you can have too many highs. Like in the case of my dark. Dark stones. I have like too many highs and not enough mids, so that does happen from time to time. Um, so you don't, you really don't want to want to be fusing them away. Um, all right. So now, now that I got my light Medusa, let's do one test run of of dragons. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use like half my dragon sigils today um, in a later video where I where I just basically run run dragons B10. But for now, I'm gonna. I'm going to use my, my regular um, B10 comp. Alright, so... Wait, let me just make sure I didn't ungem anyone. I did regem my Wood Katito, right? Yeah, sorry. He still has his attack gem. Okay, so... Um, the the current plan with my with my B10 team is, is very, very straightforward. So I was talking about the, the Light Persephone over here on the on the first first stage um now this light oh my god holy shit the auto didn't turn off now i'm fucked okay that wasn't too bad all right let's just try to stun her oh nice actually actually got the stun stun to go off Oh my god, he put attack down on me. Let's see if I can land armor break. If I can't, I'll try to petrify her. 
that doesn't work either, then I'll just, um, I guess I'll just accept my fate. <laughs> I guess it's time to accept my fate. Uh, yes. And now, now I start landing the CC. Oh my god. I actually want her to kill me right now. Come on. Alright, nice. Finally resist. Alright, now kill me. No, no, no. You're supposed to hit the Wild Fang. Oh no, please, please, please. Please don't land, Petrify. Come on. Oh my god, it's actually screwing my runs up. So what I was talking about the Light Persephone over here is on the first turn, if I was using the Dark Thor instead of my Dark Atito, um, after I CC one of the monsters on the side, there's a chance that um, there's a chance that I'm able to to basically just um, you know uh, I, right now there's a one there's a one in two chance that he attacks my Dark Atito who's built on full attack, and I really can't afford. To have her do that because if she does do that then my dark Katito, um dies really easily but if i if i have three monsters um so if i replace my wood Katito with the wood thor who's also a dark monster then i have a one in three chance of him of her attacking my dark Katito if i happen to not land the cc um so so in that sense it's it's actually um it, it actually serves a double purpose, you know, of using the Dark Thor. I, I not only, um, fuck man, I didn't even, I didn't crit on any, any of these two. Oh shit, they killed my Gatito. Alright, that was, that was sad. This is the most horrible Dragon's Run I've, I've had in a very long time. It didn't need to be like this, but I, that, that, um, auto thing like how it how it stayed on auto on that first turn fucked me really really bad it just completely fucked me i guess i'll go into the i'll just go into the dragons part it doesn't matter like i'm i'm pretty much fucked anyways maybe i should let him kill me nah i don't i don't need to do that I'll just revive on the dragon, because I can't stack a full bar anyways right now. I'm already pretty fucked. Okay, so, um, the plan was, like, the plan, the, the reason why I want my Dark Gatito on full attack is if, if I get into the, this, this stage over here, and my Dark Katito isn't on full attack, then I can't kill the boss, um, you know, at least within two turns. I, I'm not strong enough to kill him in one turn, but I need to at least be able to kill him in two turns. If he, if he, uh, like, basically, I need to do, like, maybe 70% of his, his HP in damage, like, immediately. Oh my god, not not my Dark Gatito. Alright, I think he's gonna do an AoE. I have to refill one more time. Yeah, it's it's sad. Damn three refills. Oh nice. My C Star actually survived that and wasted his his AoE. Okay, now I just need to land armor break and I'll be good. Oh my god, what the fuck? Holy shit, it just... It deselected the boss. Dude, there's... Dragons is so fucking buggy. Dude, that almost fucked me. <laughs> oh, it's a flat siphon set. Alright, rip. Um, yeah, so, uh, you know, that's, that's basically how I do dragons. So, um, the, the theory is I'm going to be replacing my wood wild thing 
with my with my uh, light Medusa because she also has 100% CC on her first skill and she has a really like a pretty hard hitting second skill so she's ba basically going to be my main CC monster that also has a lot of damage. Um, the other thing is I'm going to be using my my uh, Dark Victoria who's going to be built hybrid. I actually I think this is the gem set I want to use her, use with her right here. So it's basically an intuition set of crit rate, attack, and uh, HP. So most of these have like pretty pretty good substats and stuff. And she's going to be relatively tanky because she she is a balanced type monster. So although her attack isn't all that high, um, she's she she can still do quite a lot of damage. Um, she also has really high crit rate, so she's basically always going to be critting. Um, so so things will be really really reliable. Um, and I'm also gonna, you know, I'm, I'm gonna fuse a bunch of Victorias and try to get her to Evil Three, and see if I can summon a variant. Like when I do the do the fusion, um, and when I do the, do do that, then um, I'll have another 30% extra attack on my leader skill, and then all that combined together with uh, with my Dark Thor, with my Dark Atito, um, with my light Medusa and light Victoria, I should be able to do enough damage on the first turn if I have like full bars on everyone to basically one shot the the dragon. Um, and also, the good thing about this team is I have two CZ monsters. So if um, if I'm fighting the the light Persephone and my CC doesn't land on one of my monsters, I can still use the other one. All right, that's pretty much it. Um, that's the end of the video. Um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Wait. You know that 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 kind of fucked up. I was gonna I was gonna end the video, but then I, I thought that like there was something I didn't summon or anything like that. But actually, I didn't. So yeah, that's that's literally the end of the video. Um, I'll be back very soon with a with a few runs of Dragon Speed 10, and I'll see you guys there. Peace out.